If you look, we get like the temperature right now, we're about 400 degrees Fahrenheit on the Weber 2. This is actually a very efficient grill. I don't use as much gas on this as usual, and it cooks the food nice and evenly. So I already sprayed it down. I have some wood chips in here to give it a little bit of a smoky flavor. Right over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I have some nice seasoned summer squash here. I did a little bit of, uh, a little bit of olive oil, a little what's called African smoke. You get it at Trader Joe's, a little bit of salt and pepper. And over here, I got a swordfish. I actually picked it up at Market Basket. Um, it's on sale, 10 a pound. Always gonna know your price of fish. And I'm gonna put it right down the grill and get some nice grill marks on it. Um, pretty good, uh, pretty good deal. It's gonna taste pretty good. And uh, I'm gonna get the smoke in there and I'm um, gonna go back and see how it looks in a little bit. So just gonna first put the fish down on the grill. Right here, right? Right there, we're gonna get the grill marks on that nice, right? It's gonna be what I call noise, right? I'm gonna move it back just a little bit here, right? I'm gonna move my vegetables on too. So, let's get these vegetables on. I might even put the vegetables up top because what I do is I cut them into small, thin strips because vegetables, when they're thin, they cook really fast. So I don't wanna have too much direct heat on it. Let's put them up here. Some of the thicker slices I might move down to the bottom of the grill. And uh, we're gonna check back in a few minutes. I'm gonna put this lid down to get some, uh, some nice heat in here. Because obviously when you take the lid off, the, um, the temperature escapes. So let's get everything on. Oops, it's getting smoky. Fishes in the back. And we'll check back in a little bit.